It's been a long time coming. I should have done it sooner, but today we're gonna finally do the stage two mods on the S1000. Got a buyer, trying to get it to him, and uh, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. I've had the flash, I've had the kit, but today we're gonna do it and uh, then take this thing out and see how it feels with all the stage two mods. If you're not familiar, I've got the flash from Bren Tuning on here. I use their handheld unit which is right over here. This is really nice because it allows you to basically do your flash on your own. All you gotta do is send Bren Tuning your stock map after hooking it up and uh, they'll get you set up with whatever flash you need for your bike and all the mods that you have. Then if you ever do any mods in the future or they come out with a new flash or uh, a higher stage, performance modification flash. You can do that yourself. You don't have to take out your ECU and send it in. It's really easy on the S1000 too because the hookup for the ECU is right underneath the, the rear seat. You just got that plug, hook it up with the handheld and you're good to go. Now what you're gonna get with the stage two kit along with the flash for stage two is their IAT relocation. So it has a temperature on the bike, but the location of the temperature is heavily dependent on the temperature of the motor. And so it can't really get a good temperature reading of the air based on its location. So it relocates it up to the front nose of the bike. The other thing you're gonna have is the flapper delete. So it takes off the flappers on the air box. So you have full airflow all the time. And to do those mods, we're gonna have to be taking off the tank on the bike. So a little bit involved, but shouldn't be too, too difficult. I have gotten down there before for the first time that I uh, took out the ECU. But what we're gonna be getting with this is a few different things just bumping up the performance on the bike. Stage M Plus and Stage 1 from Brent Tuning takes care of most of the stuff that you're gonna notice on the S1000 stock. And Stage 2 kind of just bumps it up a little bit and adds a few more features. So you're gonna get better octane adjustments based on what fuel you have in the bike. You're gonna have a better um, startup and idle. So right now with the Stage 1 on here, when I start it up, it kind of bumps up to a higher idle and then after the bike warms up a little bit, it drops down. This has just a static idle and it manages much better so the bike doesn't stall on startup. Beyond that, we've got a few different things and you guys can check that out, link down below if you wanna get this for your bike. Like I said, we're gonna be taking off the tank on this bike. We'll have to take off the cover right here, the side panels to get to the tank. Of course, the seat will have to come off as well. We'll get down there and uh, I'll show you guys what's going on. So here's the IAT sensor that we're actually gonna be relocating. So we can go ahead and just remove this plug right here. We've got an extension for this. We're gonna be moving that to the front of the bike. Here is the sensor. Just twist off. And we're gonna be reusing this, so don't get rid of that. Brent Tuning's kit includes a plug for that. Got that right here. Just go ahead and plug that up. And that part is done. Now that we've got that sensor removed, here is the extension cable that we're gonna be putting on the bike. And this is, again, gonna be relocating this sensor right here to the front of the bike. It's gonna be hard to see, so I'm not gonna record it because you guys wouldn't be able to see anything anyways. Brent Tuning has a really good video for this full install on their YouTube channel if you wanna know exactly how to install everything. If you wanna watch the cinematic version, you can watch this. But uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that on here and I'll show you how it's routed and uh, we'll move, move on from there. All right, real quick, let me just show you this while I've got it here. This is where you're gonna be putting that cable through, right at the frame. There's two cables right here. And you're gonna go 
inside of the frame right there. And it actually, if you push them down out of the way and then put the cable on the top of it, you can barely get that plug through there. It kind of widens just a little bit. Pull it right out. I double checked the, uh, the video from Bruntuni and they actually have it going underneath this bolt right here. So I had it coming up right here. I just pushed it back down, kind of shoved it with one finger on this side, grabbed it with the other finger from underneath here. And then you can put it right through this slot. And that way it'll come up just like that. Very minor change, but that's how they had it. All right, now to put the cable through the front where it's gonna be coming out in the nose of the bike. He's got the whole front of the, uh, the bike off. I know I'm at least gonna have to take off the windscreen, so I'm gonna do right do that right now and then see if I can get it through. Based on how it looks, I think I gotta take the nose off in order to get that cable through, but we shall see. Now that I got the dash off there right now, I'll move this plug out of the way. Hopefully I don't lose it, but we're gonna be drilling a hole with a 5 16 bit right into the top of the nose right here. This is just plastic and then the sensor can go right in there. All right, so I took a look where that cable is gonna be coming through and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it through without taking the front nose off, but it's not too difficult. I've done it before when I put the carbon piece on, it's just hold, held on with a few bolts, I think maybe four, and then we'll have to take off the uh, the mirror block off uh, turn signals that I have on there, and then it should just slide right off. See here, you probably can actually, but <laughs> way back here, it comes it comes in between this piece and this piece underneath this bracket. And I think it's all even gonna take me some time to get it through there because it's a really tight fit. And then you'll be able to bring it up through through this hole right here and plug it into the sensor, which will go in that hole that we just drilled in. Good morning, everybody. We're back day two, because I ran out of time yesterday, but we are uh, in the home stretch because I checked the product page for the stage two kit and realized that you don't actually have to remove the flappers because with the, the flash that Bruntuni does for stage two, they can actually just control the flappers and just make sure that they're open, open all the time. For two reasons, I'm gonna go that route. One, it's easier. I don't have to take off the air box, unhook a lot of the stuff down here. And two, it's easily reversible. So you don't have to worry about for whatever reason. I don't know why you would, but if you wanted to have that flapper functionality back, you still got them in there. So you can just put a new flash on there that doesn't control the flappers and make sure they're open all the time. That'll save us some time. So let me go ahead and show you guys the, uh, the plug situation that we got here. I started out with that 5 16th drill bit that I showed you guys. I had to bump it up to a 3 8 in order to be able to get that sensor in there. But it routes through here. It takes a lot of work with your fingers comes out right between this uh, inlet and that that bracket there, and then just goes right up here. And uh, you plug in the sensor, stick it in the hole, and then, I don't know if you guys can see it, the little sensor just pokes down. Now we have that relocation done. So I'm gonna go ahead and just zip tie in a couple different places, put everything back on, and then uh, put on the stage two flash, and we should be good to go. All right, got the bike all put back together and uh, I've got the new stage two flash on here. They sent me two of them. One is for uh, the pump gas and then one is for E85. So, but let's go ahead and take this bike out and uh, see how it does right now. All right, let's test out this first startup. Woo! All right, we got a low, oh man. So like I said, we got a low idle that's consistent. Normally it would be, on stage one, it was a little bit higher. Then after the bike warmed up, it would drop down. Oh my gosh, dude. This is a perfect startup. I hadn't started the bike in, oh God, a couple weeks. All right, here we go. What the? 
<laughs> it's definitely louder at lower RPM. That's what those flappers are for. They have them closed at lower uh, lower RPM for for it to be quieter. Oh my gosh, dude, this is amazing. And I haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> All right. So it's also got, I think they said 30% faster shifts. The hard thing is this bike is already incredible. It's already very smooth, especially after I've already done the ECU flash and whatnot. It's just an all around great bike. So finding a... Uh Those flappers open were gonna make that much of a difference. Shifts are really fast, but they were already really good. Out of any bike that I've ridden, this the shifts on the S1000 are the best. Man. The sound. That's the thing that I'm noticing the most right now. It's stupid fast, but again, this bike was already stupid fast. And I have, I have not gone 100% throttle yet. It's nearly impossible on this thing. There's so much juice available. Yeah, oh, geez. Shifts. Perfect. We got fun things coming, but man, I am gonna miss this bike. Now that we got the stage two on here and this thing fully optimized performance wise, I'm gonna put this up against the R1. So if you wanna see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications because it's coming soon. Like in the next video or the one after that. I'm really excited. I don't think the R1 stands a chance, but we're gonna see. Goodness, folks, that uh, was amazing. Amazing, amazing. Fifty for you guys. <laughs> if you want to get any of my daily 100 merch, make sure you guys hit that shop link down in the description. Motonocity.com. Man, oh man, rent tuning has done awesome with this flash. If you guys want to check it out, get it for your bike. They don't just do the S1000; they always also do Ducatis and uh, the new R1. They do other stuff. They do a lot. Put the link for the stage two down in the description so you guys can check it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have been awesome. I've been Motonocity. Remember, life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived. And I'll see you guys in the next one.